A single cell, two cells, four, eight, sixteen. This is how development of all vertebrates begins. The cellular multiplication gives rise to the organs and tissues which together permit the formation of living creatures. During development, living organisms evolve and undergo changes that affect their structure. This process is shared by all vertebrates, from the simplest to the most complex, even though the final result varies tremendously. What makes the first cell divide and start the process of development? What determines which parts of an organism will develop first and which will develop later? How do cells know when the formation of an organ has finished so that they can stop developing at the correct stage? Why does cellular proliferation sometimes accelerate without any apparent explanation? And does this have consequences in general functioning of an organism? There are many question marks, but finding their answers is vital, not only to understand how a living being can form from a single cell, but also to understand complex processes such as aging and cancer. The Andalusian Center of Developmental Biology was founded in 2003 as a pioneering Spanish research institute with the aim of establishing itself as a world-class multidisciplinary center for the study of developmental biology. Located in Seville, Andalusia, the Andalusian Center of Developmental Biology is a joint center in which participate the Spanish National Research Council, the Andalusian Regional Government, and Seville's Pablo de Olavide University, in whose campus the center is based. The development of a complex organism requires a massive increase in the number of its cells. Researchers in the Andalusian Center of Developmental Biology study the mechanisms of cellular proliferation using yeasts and small worms. Other models, such as the fruit fly and zebrafish, are also used in order to study how this cellular proliferation is coordinated during development. Such simple models represent excellent living test tubes in which we can observe and understand fundamental biological processes which affect all animals, including ourselves. As the number of cells increases during development, cells become specialized in different functions. All cells in a given organism possess the same genetic information. This is what specialists call genome. Yet, each cell type only uses a part of this information, that which it needs to perform its individual functions. Scientists in the CABD study the mechanisms which control genetic information, evaluating gene regulation using highly sophisticated genetic engineering techniques. Their studies are carried out using models ranging from bacteria to mice and whose analysis and interpretation is assisted by the use of powerful bioinformatic tools. Once specialized, cells are recruited to form tissues and organs. Some cells move considerable distances within an embryo and, as happens in the construction of a building, cells are assembled together to form tissues and organs. These problems of biological architecture, such as eye formation or the formation of circulatory or respiratory systems, are subjects of investigation using advanced techniques of biological imaging, genetics and molecular and cellular biology. However, development does not stop with birth. Tissues and organs have mechanisms which repair damage and combat against everyday wear and tear until the animal ages. This final phase of development is also controlled, to a large extent, by our biological programming. Understanding how nutritional and genetic factors influence the aging of an organism, or how tissues are regenerated by stem cells, are enormously important areas of biomedical research and make up an important aspect of the research undertaken in the CABD. This multidisciplinary approach to research is allowed by using the most up-to-date technology, such as the global analysis of cellular functions using genomic and proteomic techniques and the study of cellular behavior in living animals, utilizing advanced imaging techniques 
and the generation of transgenic animals. Supporting its wide scientific remit, the CEABD possesses technological platforms which permit the large-scale analysis of biological processes, such as the Functional Genomics Platform, which provides the capability of analyzing the function of thousands of genomic segments. Many diseases are associated with development processes of cellular malfunctions. Research groups within Andalusia Center of Developmental Biology are designing therapeutic strategies to eliminate cancerous cells using biological methods. In addition, they are developing methods for the diagnosis of inherited diseases. The activities of the CEABD also extend into the worlds of business and education. Cooperation with biotech companies, some based within the CEABD itself, permits the integration of basic and applied research. In this way, the results of their research can be translated into direct improvements in healthcare, the food industry and the environment. As a university-associated institute, the Andalusian Centre of Developmental Biology is hugely involved in the training of both graduate and postgraduate students as future life science professionals. A research institute of the highest calibre, open to Spanish and foreign scientists and located in the magnificent surroundings offered by the city of Seville. At the leading edge of science, towards a better future for everyone.